Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Ili Nishmas, Rachaleya, Bas, Reb Chaim Tzvi. So this year we're going, to be, we're going to continue developing the connection, the idea of the connection between the Seder and Matan Torah. In the previous year we discussed several uh, connections and the basic idea is that the goal of Yitzhak Mitzrayim is Matan Torah. That was the goal. That's why Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. This is what the Sefer Achinuch writes in Mitzvah Shin Vav, by the Mitzvah of Sfira Saomer. That's the goal of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, to get to Matan Torah. What does real freedom mean? Real freedom means the freedom to serve Hashem. Enucha ben Chorin, Ela, Misha Oseik Torah. That's the true freedom in, uh, in Yadus, and that's what the purpose of Yitzhak Mitzrayim was. In the previous year, we developed... Uh, six connections in the in the seder in the haggadah in the seder itself to matan torah. And today we'll continue with uh, several more and they, and also develop a, one broader theme, beautiful idea, a broader theme, which I saw in the name of Rav Meir Tversky uh, Shlita, which also is another whole angle on the connection between the seder and and matan torah. And again, it'll be it'll be helpful for this year to have a Haggadah with you because we'll be reading things from the Haggadah itself. Okay. So what we're up to in the Haggadah is, in the previous year we discussed that the, that the, the introduction to the four sons relates to Matan Torah with the Birchus Torah idea that we mentioned last time. Right after the four sons, that we ended up coming close to Hashem, and that's Matan Torah, relates to Matan Torah. And now we're up to really the central part of Magid, Arami Dovei Davi. Arami Dovei Davi is a parsha in the Torah, a section in the Torah, that's found in Parsha's Kisava, in, in Chumash Devarim. And it's very, very striking how the Haggadah uses Arami Dovei Davi. It's like this. The mitzvah at the night of Pesach, the night of the Seder is, to tell the story. So you tell the story from the Chumash. That's what you, that you, you'll use the Chumash to help you tell the story. That makes sense. So when the Baal Haggadah decides to, to tell us the story, that we should tell the story with the, with this, through the Chumash, he chooses Arami Rovei Ravi as the, the base for the story. So in other words, instead of, quote, instead of using the, the psukim from Parsha Shmos and Parsha Va'era and Parsha Zbo to tell the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, the Haggadah takes the psukim from Parsha's Kisavo. That's striking. That's not, what you would, that's, not what you would, that's not what you would have expected. You would have expected to tell, take the psukim from Shmos. So that's a question. Why does the Baal Haggadah do that? Why does he use Arami Dovi Ravi as the as like the base for the story. Oh. So, so the Malbin gives the Pashib shot that these Psukim, Aram and Ovidavi, they're a concise way of telling the story. It's, it's like a recap, a, a, a concise way of telling the story. So therefore, the Baal HaGadah wanted to find that concise way. So, so instead of taking Psukim from all over Shmos, Veir, and Bo, these few Psukim in, in, in Aram and Ovidavi are a concise way, so the Baal HaGadah used that. Oh. That's one idea. Another idea, and this Rav Salvechik and others, uh, the, the, Rav, the Rav Zatzal d- developed this, and others as well, that Aram Avidavi has the aspect of Hoda, thanking Hashem. One recites Aram Avidavi when one brings Bikurim to the base of Mikdash, the first fruits. So the person comes to the base of Mikdash and says, thank you Hashem, that, that you know, we used to be in Mitzrayim and now we're free and we have Eretz Yisrael and I'm bringing my fruits to, to, to the base of Mikdash. Thank you Hashem. So there is an aspect of Hoda'a in this, this psukim of Ramid Ovidavi. And the Rav explained, as others as well, Hoda'a is a major part of the Seder as well. That when you're telling the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, you're supposed to thank Hashem for what He's done for us. So it fits that we will use psukim in the Torah, which tell the story, and have an aspect of hoda, of thanks to Hashem, because that's a big part of the Seder as well. The Rav went a little further, and he pointed out that one definition of the word Haggadah is hoda. The word Haggadah, that, that's the, the title, that's the name of the Haggadah, one, one definition is, is hoda. 
The Rav quotes in Devarim Perakavav, Pasuk Gimel, when the, when the Torah writes, the Targum Yonasan over there, the Targum Yonasan on that Pasuk, when the Torah writes, Vehigadati, the Targum Yonasan says, Veodina, and I will thank. So you see that one meaning of the word Haggadah is thanks. So therefore, maybe the, the one reason why the Baal Haggadah chose Aramid Ovidavi as the base for telling the story is Aramid Ovidavi uh, contains the aspect of Hoda as well. So th- these are two very nice Pashib uh, shots about Aramid Ovidavi. But the truth is, it goes much deeper than that. Because we find something very, very strange when you think about it. In, the, in, this, in, the, in this section of the Haggadah. Like I said before, I would have thought, take the Psukim and Shemos Veira and Bo to tell 